Guys, the worst people to listen to is the mainstream media when it comes down to stocks. Any stock, especially Tesla, they're always late and they're always loud and they're always wrong. Talking about drama, talking about how can you talk about 300 stocks and know what you're talking about? Like, guys, look, I'm not even going to lie to you and say I can talk about 300 different stocks and know what I'm talking about. OK, so shout out to the solving the money problem. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel, like his video. At least he has a lot of brains and he knows what he's talking about. And he deep dives into the company versus these Wall Street people. They just be chatting. They're just chatty patties. OK, listen to this nonsense. All right. So I'm not. Look, let's get into the video. OK with the green tidal wave and in with the most undervalued AI play on planet Earth. The market reaction we're seeing in Tesla today, it's pretty extreme. How much of this is because Elon Musk tried to pivot to this idea of robo-taxi and then couldn't deliver because he had to delay the whole event? Yeah. I mean, is that a leading question or what? <laughs> he couldn't deliver. We have FSD. People are driving it. They're enjoying it. But all of a sudden, he couldn't deliver. He pivoted to it. And you don't pivot to just full self-driving, okay? <laughs> you don't pivot from having a car drive on a road by itself with someone supervising it. You don't pivot to it. That is built out, but okay, lady. Yeah, I mean, I think in charge. So I have to take a moment here. I, I mean, did she- Get a mark. You just, I have to hear that again. I'm just trying to compare reality to what we just heard from Doomberg of this is because Elon Musk tried to pivot to this idea of robo-taxi and then couldn't deliver because he had to delay the whole event. Yeah. I mean right. So, uh, hmm. Tesla's been actively working on autonomy for almost a decade. Fact check true. The culmination of which will be the unveiling of a dedicated vehicle specifically designed for autonomy. No steering wheel, no pedals, likely in a completely reimagined interior. The narrative we just heard from Doomberg, if I'm interpreting it correctly is that tesla on a whim just decided to suddenly start pursuing autonomy are you looking for an easy way to start it just stop because they couldn't deliver and it's only been a two month delay come on guys but now they've had a major setback because the unveil of the autonomous vehicle at the end of nearly a decade of work has been delayed by like two months huh i mean i think it sharpens the knives between the bulls and the bears because the bears will argue gross margins missed Price cuts continue to happen and lower ASPs. But, but in my opinion, this story is about AI, robotaxi, robotics. And really, actually, a price stabilization that's happening. And I think demand that ultimately is starting to turn the corner in China. AI, autonomy, robots. He's right. We are seeing the narrative shift in real time. Now, regarding quote-unquote demand, as I mentioned, trillions of times at least, maybe quintillions by now, the automotive industry itself is extremely cyclical. Add to that absurd interest rate increases, unprecedented rises in relative terms out of nowhere, massive challenges with affordability, and the shocks from the scandemic, the fascist shutdowns, the supply chain challenges, the price of new and used vehicles soaring temporarily and now plunging, meaning the price of used vehicles now is many, many tens of percentages lower than it was 12, 18 plus months ago. And, 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 these, and these are people that are supposed to know this, but they're, of course, Ignoring it, not adding it in. I don't know what the reason is, but let's use our brain and add it into the equation. And when we look at the competition, selling just regular vehicles, not EV guys, when we look at Ford and GM and Toyota, they're struggling. They're not making anything. <laughs> Their margins are almost like 2%, 3%, 5%. And we're talking about Tesla because it's, no longer 20, but 15, but got zero smoke for Ford, GM, Toyota, and et cetera, right? EVs are failing, right? Tesla's failing, even with the best-selling car. It's still not good enough. The best-selling car in the world still is not good enough for these people. So guys, this is what you just have to realize is that the financial media, they chase clickbait all day, every day. They don't chase reality they don't deep dive into the company they're just talking about a hundred companies in a day or in a week so they're just breezing over it saying some stuff just to produce some media and some content 
It's like, you know, a YouTuber can just start talking about all these different hustles and schemes and side hustles and side projects. And, oh, man, today, you know, sell pallets, pallets, excuse me. Today we're selling donuts. Today uh, I heard about this new business. It's called NFTs. Next thing you know, it's crypto. Next thing you know, it's this. Next thing you know, it's that. Is that the same as bigger pockets who sit down and constantly talk about real estate with you and the finer details? No. Very different. But those other guys, they're just chasing whatever gets clicks, just producing media. And you guys are listening, tuning in, thinking that they're really telling you something that you need to hear. Plus, companies trying to produce electric vehicles and realizing they can't compete with Tesla, so selling them and losing 100000 plus dollars on these things, and you're flooded of extremely cheap, not great, but cheap vehicles on the market, not sustainable, but certainly not helpful to Tesla. All of these factors together, a confluence of headwinds, suddenly... Most analysts, most in the finance media, just became obsessed with Tesla's automotive business and ignored literally everything else. And also assumed that this was a Tesla-specific challenge as opposed to market-wide. It appears that investors are starting to realize that the challenges within the automotive market are not just confined to Tesla. And possibly they've also realized that, wait a minute, if it's tough to sell electric vehicles at premium prices today, and more and more consumers are buying electric vehicles, which means less and less internal combustion engine vehicles are going to sell, does that mean that legacy automotive manufacturers are fucked and headed to bankruptcy? Well, Ford stock having its worst day since the financial crisis in 0809, down not far off 20% today. What? Oh, 20% today. But we're talking about Tesla because it's down by 10%. And then, guys, if you see what Ford has done for its shareholders in the last five years, I think it's like an 8% increase in the stock. Yet yeah, we're like 1,300. So you're welcome. But, net, net, I guess it's... More important to say Tesla's down by 20% than Ford's down by 20%. So I guess they're moving to another point in 2008 and they're going to get your money and you're going to bail them out. And, you know, that would be that. What a disaster for Ford. Here's a peek at their electric vehicle business. Volume down 23% as opposed to Tesla, which people are crying. Oh, it's kind of flat. Ford, electric vehicle sales, volume down 23%. Revenue down 37%. Remember, Tesla just posted their biggest ever quarterly revenue as a company, not just for their vehicles, including storage, blah, blah, blah. So Ford, electric vehicles, their only hope of surviving in the future. Revenue on that segment down 37%, volume down 23%. EBIT loss flat. They lost a mere $1.1 billion. First half losses for Ford in their EV business now, $2.5 billion lost. Now, I'm not very good at math, but let's assume that this holds steady. That would be about $5 billion lost for the full year on this business. Ford, by the way, who had a chance very early head start with an electric pickup truck, the F-150 Lightning, to outpace, compete, and leverage the existing loyal brand customers for the F-150 versus the Cybertruck, which, by the way, remember Tesla on their earnings call disclosed that they believe that Cybertruck will be profitable in and of itself later this year, definitely by end of this year. Now, let's hold on and take a pause because uh, these advertisements are getting on my nerves. I might have to go ahead and get that premium. Like, geez, Louise. But let's go ahead and check out Ford stock. Like, let's bring that up on the screen, all right? Now, let's go to the last five years with Ford stock, okay? What has it done for anybody lately? Don't worry. I'll wait. We're looking over the overall business of actual Ford, okay? This is not EV only. For the last five years, the investors have made 16%. Excuse me, I'm wrong. Let's say for the whole lifetime, it's only been 400 percent so going back all the way to 1984 right <laughs> no disrespect you know shout out to ford in many ways right you have an increase of 400 percent so that was before i was even born now let's go to its actual finance now while we have that up let's go over and shift it to tesla since we want to make fun of tesla all the time last five years 1,350% increase in the last five years. Let's say the max 17,000% increase. Now, I guess forward is still more important. Now, let's dig into the financials, all right? So let's go here, annual. Let's just go to 2023, all right? So Tesla revenue was almost 100 billion and our net income is 15 billion. Let's check out forward and see what they were doing because you know people are always talking trash they're always talking trash about elon and his company as if the other car companies are doing good see normies don't care they just want jobs and revenue 
in revenue, $176 billion. That's $76 more billion than Tesla. And guess what? They're $10 billion less net income than Tesla. Come on, my guy. Come on, my guy. Assets versus liability. They have equity of about $42 billion, okay? And the assets are about $273 billion. So they don't have much wiggle room in their equity. So that's okay. That's okay. But we just want to point that out. We have a good amount of room, right? We got about $106 billion and $53 billion, and that's giving us equity, about $63 billion in equity, right? And then when we go to our margins, we got 15% net profit margin, right? Let's go back to your boys Ford. Right. What, what, what is Ford doing over here with their profit margin? 2.47. There you go. Thank you. And you're welcome. 2.47. But you got smoke all day, every day. For Tesla. Smoke all day for Tesla. But no smoke for GM. All right, here we go. Let's go to GM. Let's see what GM's got to offer us because the competition's coming, right? Oh yeah, well, competition's coming, but if they don't, if they don't do, you know, if they don't do that stupid EV stuff, then they'll still be good. Okay. So if I would have invested five years of my money, I would have been up eight percent. Thank you, GM. If I would have been for the entire lifetime, stretching back to 2010, I would have been up 30%. Thank you, GM. All right, GM, here we go. Annual. There we go, GM. $171 billion in revenue in 2023. Net income of $10 billion, still behind Tesla, but nice try. All right. Net profit margin, a little bit better. Yeah, okay, 6%. Congratulations. Still losing, but, you know, you're doing your thing. Here we go. They're doing pretty good, about $273 billion, and they got about $68 billion in equity. Congratulations, guys. You did good for yourself. I'm not even going to lie. That's pretty good. You could hold your head up high, okay? But your profit margin is still nowhere close to us, but good job. Good on you guys. All right. And then EV, you're just failing. We'll end it there. Okay. I'm not going to have my man solving the money problem, demolish you too much. But when it comes down to the EV, you're just not doing good and that's okay. Go back to your regular business, but you're still losing at that. Like much respects to, you know, Ford, GM, they've been very important to the United States of America, but guys just give us the money. Yeah, just get out the race. Let Tesla take over. Let Tesla have a monopoly, okay? <laughs> Come on, man. Just get out the way. Move. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. So, again, people always bring up Ford, GM. And, you know, even though solving the money problem was showing the Model E, right, the EV, look, leave that alone. Just looking at their business, their standard traditional business, that at least the stock has been open since 2010 and then for Ford, 1984. And they're hurting. That's why they needed bailout money from you guys. Okay? So if you want to be American, go to a company that's not going to go to the Americans to bail it out. All right? And y'all mad at regulatory credits, thinking that Elon... Or Tesla's cheating because of regulatory or credits. What do you call it when you get bailed out by the U.S. government? Like completely bailed out after you fail. Too big to fail. That's what they say. Now, I'm not mad. I'm not hating. All right. And then you take all the money and split the profit with CEOs and then dash out to the Cayman Islands. But here go Elon. Elon hasn't even accepted a payment plan hasn't been paid. Well, he's been paid minimum wage for the last five years. That's what I'm saying. I almost always think Americans are the most un-American people ever. Like, you know, they're, they're like, 
Americans, make yourself great, okay? Like, leave the country alone. You got problems. You constantly invest in companies and companies that hire people that you call, not me, you call sleaze bags. Right? I don't even know how you mad at the company for taking jobs overseas, but you still buy their cars. You're mad at the company for taking public funds and bailing themselves out too big to fail. You still buy their cars. <laughs> mad at them for taking those public funds and paying the CEOs a lot of money and laying off a lot of people. You still buy their cars. <laughs> like, and then Tesla comes, builds new factories, right? Returns a lot of money for their investors. Has only a small thing called regulatory credits, and you're mad at them. You're more mad at Tesla. You dislike EV so much. Well, I just want to ride an ice vehicle. I want to hear a room. I want what I want. So you want to fund the people who took your jobs overseas? You want to fund the people who lobbied the government, took it over, manipulated the government, put puppet senators into Congress? <laughs> what? And the same politicians that you call crooked and corrupt are running down Elon Musk and saying he's bad, we don't like him. But you don't like the politics. Man, let me get off my... Yeah, you guys make zero to no sense. But anyways, it's not only the stock analysts on Wall Street or in the financial media. It's you normies also. Like, guys, just think about it. Sit down, calm down. Get a breath mint and think it out, okay? Everyone hates Tesla. You hate Tesla so much that you're not willing to invest in the most American car. All right, man. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys can get the next video and get the sauce because I'm delivering it, but I don't know if you guys are picking it up.